If you're a Florida fisherman that for years has said, we need more data, we need more timely data, we need to collect data in better ways to manage our fishery, then I have a message for you. My name is Mike Colby. I am a federally permitted charter operator operating out of Clearwater, Florida in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. This is my vessel, the Double Hook. I know of no fisherman or fishing organization in the state of Florida that has come up with a plan to collect this real-time catch data that our fishery managers desperately need to manage the fishery or that our federally permitted charter boats in the state of Florida need to ensure the future success of their businesses. As a fisherman, I can guarantee you the chickens will come home to roost. There is very little time left for us to get this right. It is time for our federally permitted Florida charter boats to step up to the plate and start providing this information. If we don't, I am fearful that our fishing opportunities for our customers in the future will be less and less. The National Fish and Wildlife Federation, the Gulf Seafood Institute, and CLS America Corporation have teamed up together to implement a two-year electronic logbook voluntary program for data collection for our Florida federally permitted charter fleet. This two-year electronic logbook project will utilize a wireless satellite connection to the tablet that you will have on the vessel with you. The operator can enter his catch and discard data onto this tablet. Enter all the fish you commonly fish for, grouper, snapper, amberjack, triggerfish, kingfish. This is a multi-species data collection effort. When that data is entered into the tablet, it'll be wirelessly sent to fishery managers and your catch can be verified at Dockside through a Dockside intercept. The effort portion of your data collection effort is verified by the CLS America Vessel Monitoring System. This VMS unit not only verifies your effort, your daily catch effort, your daily trip effort, but also acts as a constant weather update, acts as a vessel to land email capability, and also importantly acts as an emergency indicating beacon for your vessel. The CLS America equipment that each vessel will have on it will include the tablet, a junction box, and the antenna for the VMS portion of that unit. All of this equipment will be provided to each participant in the program free of charge. There will be no cost to the vessel owner to have this equipment installed. Installation can be done by yourself or with the help of CLS technicians. The system is a negative ground 12 volt system that will come with a voltage regulator for 24 or 32 volt applications. Training for captains in this project will take place at various locations around Florida. We're looking for boats to participate in this project from areas like Stinghatchee, Clearwater, Florida, St. Petersburg, Cortez, Sarasota, Naples, and Fort Myers. The only cost that will be incurred by each participant in this project will be a $60 to $65 a month satellite hookup. We've been complaining for years, not enough data, not enough timely delivery of the data. This project solves all of that for our fishery. If not this project, then what?